explain the deviations or limitations of Beer Lambert's law. First, if the concentration of solution is more than 10 to the power minus 2 molar or 0.01 molar, in that case, the linear relation is not obtained. When we plot a graph of absorbance versus concentration, it shows linear relation only at lower concentrations. So if the concentration of solution is high, we cannot get the proper relation between absorption and concentration. Second, the molar extension coefficient epsilon depends on the refractive index of absorbing medium. If the initial concentration of the absorbing medium is greater than 10 to the power minus 2 molar, then refractive index changes and so epsilon changes. If the concentration is less than 0.01 molar, the refractive index does not change with the concentration and so the epsilon does not change and the law holds true. So the concentration must be less than 0.01 molar. Third, the law also fails if the absorbing species react with the solvent, that is either association or dissociation takes place. For example, change in color of dichromate ions on dilution with water. If dichromate ions are diluted at constant pH, then the graph is straight line, means it obeys Beer Lambert's law. But if the dilution is done not by keeping the constant pH, dichromate ions react with water molecules producing chromate ions, which is yellow in color. Fourth, the law is also deviated if the monochromatic light is not used. Fifth, change of temperature also leads to deviation of Beer Lambert's law. Sixth, the deviation may occur if width of the instrument is not proper. Seventh, the deviation also occurs in the instrument where filters are used because with filters we cannot get monochromatic light. If you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for further videos.